thanks for staying with us here on STL TV Live. Here with me today is Brad Reinhardt from LTNA and Greg Casabatis of YSCP. I feel like I'm doing my ABC. <laughs> yeah, your acronyms, yeah. I know. So, Greg, what is LTNA? Uh, the logistics, LTNA stands for the Logistics and Transportation Association of North America, and that is an organization, it's a national organization that supports its membership organizations uh, that's made up of transportation and logistics clubs. Uh, there's currently 44 clubs throughout the United States and Canada. Through that, the Transportation Club of St. Louis, which Greg talked about in the last segment, has been a longtime member of uh, the national organization, LTNA. I got you. So how did you come to meet and do what you do together? Well, a couple years ago, I was working through the trans as president of the Transportation Club of St. Louis, just kind of reviewing what we were doing as a club and who we were connecting with. And a segment that we weren't connecting with was the young supply chain professionals in the St. Louis area. So I started speaking with Greg about forming this side group that would work through the Transportation Club of St. Louis, but also reach out to the younger generation that has joined uh, our industry. St. Louis has some really fantastic universities that have great supply chain and logistics programs. So we're very blessed to have a lot of young professionals joining our industry and staying in St. Louis. So we really wanted to give them a place to network. We keep saying the word supply chain. So break that down for people who might not know what that is and tell me. Yeah, supply chain is just the huge umbrella for pretty much manufacturing the movement of product, whether it's domestically, just the United States, or moving stuff around the world. So all the pieces needed to get a product and service into the hands of the consumer. And that's a whole lot of that's people. That's a whole lot yes. because IT is a part of it. Human resources is a part of it. I mean, you know, the saying in kind of the transportation industry is if you bought it, a truck brought it. So most industries touch the supply chain in one, one way or the other. And tell me the importance um, from LTNA of having an organization like this where you're able to reach out to so many of the youth which you're now targeting. Yeah, well, and a lot of it is like the St. Louis, the Transportation Club of St. Louis has been in the community since 1907. And the LTNA organization has been around since the early 1900s. And it's evolved like most organizations do. So as our demographic, demographic has gotten older in our industry, and a lot of the industry has flipped to hiring the young professionals now there is those logistics degrees out there it became very important to connect with them to keep our organization strong but just to reinforce the importance of networking with social media and everything today Facebook and LinkedIn are great ways to connect to people but I think a lot of society has lost the face-to-face -face sitting down and actually meeting people so I think a lot of organizations are looking at, okay, how do we get more people out, more people networking, and uh, starting this YSCP a year and a half ago has really been a great influx of new people into the organization and just getting people out networking and meeting new people and improving themselves. And now that YSCP has been an extension of a national group, YSCP is now extending into other cities. And so this was kind of the birthplace here in St. Louis and we'll be extending into Denver and Houston and Memphis and a handful of other cities uh, over the upcoming years. That's great. So what's your vision? Where is it going to go from here? You know, I think to where it would be is like right now currently uh, the LTNA has 44 uh, clubs and we do a national conference and stuff like that. So I see the YSCP getting in each one of those cities and then also having their own separate uh, that. But I think a lot of it is just the recognition of making the supply chain industry strong and a viable place to come work. Great. Well, I really do appreciate you being here today and sharing this information with our viewers. It's been a pleasure to have you on the set. We have to take a quick break. And when we return on STL TV Live, we'll meet with Rachel Brooks from the St. Louis Public Library. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 